Yeah. 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 All right, so let's just start. I guess we'll start with that. So why don't you tell us how long you've been uh, an artist for? Um, I've been a tattoo artist for like 10 years. And then, oh, man, I've been doing art since I've been easy kindergarten, first grade. Yeah, I remember doing like little art contests when I was in first grade. I got second place and pissed me off. But yeah. yeah. Second place. Uh, yeah. Um, it is kind of a long story, but we'll kind of try to shorten it. I, uh, I used to race BMX bikes, and then through BMX bikes, I had like a side sponsor job through a clothing store that did called Outcast, and Outcast did um, like tattoos and piercings, and then so I worked like the front end for them, and then I was also kind of sponsored for clothing for them, and then um, I ended up working full time for them. And then during this time, I think I was going to like school for art and graphics and stuff. And then that just kind of got me excited with tattoos. And, um, next thing you know, like just doodling on like stars and you know lettering and roses and stuff on the front end. And then that like eventually got me kind of hungry into doing tattooing. And yeah, that's a, kind of the start of it, I guess. Very yeah, cool. yeah. So you've got a very well known style. Um, mm -hmm. How did you kind of find that style? I knew when I started drawing, I didn't want to be like realistic. I can't do the copy and paste, like transfer portrait style stuff. My brain doesn't work like that. So, and then I knew I didn't want to do like traditional style. It just was, I think, a little too simple for my liking. So, um, I still loved the you know classic traditional style of tattoos. Just artistically for me, I just felt like I would suit something more illustrative. So. Um, there was a couple guys when I first started, uh, like Aaron Del Lavadova at Guru Tattoo um, was a big influence when I started. I mean, artist-wise, you got like Muka um, and him. Yeah, you know, I think most neo-traditional guys can say that guy's like the basis of most of their, you know, art style yeah. back in the day. Um, there's a guy Lars Uwe or Loose Lips. He's probably like also one of the the originators of, of that style. Uh, he's kind of low key and he's in Germany, but yeah, he uh, he's like the artist artist for Neo. Um, he was a big influence. Um, who else? Um, Echol, Uncle Al. You just didn't see stuff like that back in the day. You yeah. saw like Japanese, you saw portrait work, uh, and then this illustrative style started coming in with these faces and I just got super attracted to that. Very cool. Would you say that's kind of your favorite style of the like the faces and yeah. nail style yeah I yeah and people always ask me if I get sick of doing faces but I really don't because you always get better at doing them you always pick something out and you always kind of find something on a tattoo that you're not fully happy with I'm, I'm pretty uh, um, hard on myself on tattoos so yeah. there's always you can always get better I think that's part of the fun of doing what we do is you just progress yeah, yeah. especially seeing with like how good guys are nowadays at tattooing. I was just going through Instagram, I mean, every day, but the other day I was looking through and there was like probably 10 posts of guys I follow and this stuff was just, just unreal. And I was just like, man, I gotta, you know, sit back and definitely kind of step up my game. You draw every day. Up. Um, I guess you can say on average, yes. Uh, some days I'll get, try not to get too burnt out. Some days I'll take a day off and like try to decompress, but it, most of the time I am thinking about it. Like if I'm not drawing that day, then I'll be like thinking about my next tattoo I have to draw for, even if I'm like saving reference photos or like getting like quick sketch ideas up. I, I will always try to like, it does kind of revolve around like the creative process of the tattoo. Do you ever, ever step outside of your style? I know you do no, faces, not at all. No. I mean, I know my style now. I used to, um, I used to get a little bit more like opinion from the, the client, I guess you could say. I guess you, when you start, you always have to kind of um, take a little bit of heat from the clients and, and listen to what they want, like color wise, or I really like this, or I want this facing this direction. And then, but over the time I've learned that like a lot of times that does not, that ends up making the tattoo look worse is like, cause they don't know like exactly how my final outcome will be. And they think their way might be better. So I know now like my, my style is so set now and I know what works color wise and, and structure wise and placement on the body wise on like what will be best. So I really, I don't compromise too much. I mean, I do a little, but like, I don't like, if someone's like, wants like a certain color or this, I, I'll tell them like, Hey, you know, this one might be better if, for this certain like area. This is why I try not to be a jerk and, <laughs> you know, like 
but I'll try to like tell them, break it down to them without them getting upset.